I last spoke to you about the tabernacle, God's dwelling place, where the presence of God was phenomenally manifest amongst God's people, his tent where his glory was. But of course also the tabernacle provided a context for cleansing. How can a holy God dwell among an unclean people? Well, God provided an amazing a glorious provision, namely the sacrificial system, which of course was all preparation for the coming of Jesus, the Lamb of God. They were to shed blood, there was a day of atonement, there was to be cleansing. They could be justified by the blood of the Lamb. This is such an important lesson for us. We reign in life through the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness. God has given us a free gift because the blood of Jesus has taken away our guilt. And you know, if we're not absolutely peaceful and joyful about this, we'll get into the trap of trying to justify ourselves. Paul said the tragedy of his Jewish contemporaries was that they were going around trying to establish a righteousness of their own based on work, the works they were doing. And for us as evangelical believers it's so easy to get into the trap of thinking well I do my bible reading I pray my prayers I attend the church I, I'm trying to get myself acceptable to God uh, and without realizing it we drift into self-justification which we never need to do the blood of Jesus has cleansed our conscience it's taken away our guilt we need to celebrate it enjoy it our sanctification will come out of that expression of love and appreciation. God will change us and we will take measures to change ourselves by his grace. But that isn't the basis of my acceptance with God. It's always the blood of Jesus, which never, never changes. He is my righteousness and he's the same yesterday, today and forever. When I wake tomorrow morning, I am righteous in him. He will always provide mercy because he shed his blood in my place.